Alan, a lot of changes here at GKM Aerospace over the last few years. You've been through a management buyout. Tell us a little bit about where the company was to where it is now today. Well, the present uh, level of investment we've got at the moment is about £2 million over the last three years. And a lot of that's been to do with the uh, high-end CNC stuff. You can see the five axis Hercos, uh, which gives us greater competition and also uh, that advantage over our competitors uh, with regards to costing throughput on the factory and also accuracy as well. And who would be those who would be those customers that you're working for? What sort of parts are you machining here, uh, We're doing a lot of uh, R&D work for Airbus at the moment, but also production runs for the C-Series with Bombardier. So uh, it's integral to our business that we can maintain our skill level and delivery schedules for these guys with the type of work they're sending into us. You, you've, you've been through a transition in, the, in, in your machine tool procurement as well, haven't you, over recent years. Why, why, is it, why are we now predominantly seeing Herco machines here in the business? They're more reliable. The accuracy is unprecedented than what we've had, ever had before. Uh, and the support from the guys as well, uh, from Herco themselves, has been very good as well. The latest machine you've bought is one of their newest models, which is a DCX 325SI. That's some machine tool that gives you a lot of capacity and a lot of flexibility, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it gives us a bigger age as well over our competitors. For that size of the, of the five axis at 3.2 metres, it's the first one in the UK, uh, and we're proud to be um, associated with Herco with that. Uh, it's been six months now, uh, and we're still getting to understand the machine and get bedded in with it, uh, and we're enjoying what we've seen so far. Because we've looked at a few of the double column machines like this from Herco, but they tend to have just been the three axis versions. You, you've not taken this investment lightly, you've gone for a, a full five axis solution. Why was that? Um, as I said, it gives us that competitive edge, uh, and especially with the type of work that's coming out from the likes of Airbus. Uh, more complex, high value pieces of work, uh, and the tolerance on those are particularly tight, and that gives us the ability to machine and deliver to what the customer wants. Um, it's over half a million pounds of investment. Uh, and that's also fueled a lot of the stuff in here with regards to uh, the reinvestment and the redevelopment of the factories you see it now as well. And, and that's kind of your biggest five axis. You've also got some smaller five axis machines. In fact, you've got a 60, you've got a 42, and you've got a VM10U. I suppose that just demonstrates the, the, the availability of the five axis solutions from Herco, doesn't it, and the scope? Yeah, I mean, the versatility they offer for machinery is, is second to none from our perspective as well. Uh, and we're seeing the benefits and here on throughput and production up rates as well. So it's a plus for all of us. I'm, I'm interested in this story about GKM as well, because it's great to see young guys like yourself going through management buyouts and, and, and owning and running companies like this. This area, Basildon, is the heart of the kind of aerospace um, industry. Is that why you're here and is that why you focus on that? Yeah, our customer base are global. Uh, the reason we're here is because of the amount of aerospace companies here. So it gives us a pool of skilled labour as well. But not only with the skilled labour as well, we're looking at the, the youngsters that we've got around us as well and bringing those guys on. Uh, and I spoke to you earlier about how passionate we are about that with the apprenticeship schemes and also from Harlow as well, the college that we're just trying to get an affiliation with uh, for the likes of John Tennyson. Do you think times are changing here in the UK when we talk about apprenticeships and youth and training colleges? Because Harlow, we've been there, it is a great example of, of investment in young people. Yes, it is. I think uh, there is a slight sea change now to people actually with apprenticeships uh, and doing that type of work from where it used to be so 10, 15 years ago. There is a skill gap, so we recognise that, and it's good that we're actually addressing that as well. With, with you going through this management buyout, you wouldn't do that without a plan. If we came back in a few years' time, what do you think we could expect to see? Uh, we'd like to think that we've got a, a wider customer base. Uh, we're looking at uh, stepping up on the third shift pattern as well at the moment. So it's about throughput in us. It's about maximising the throughput within the business. Uh, where we sit at the moment, a lot of it's been through generic growth. Uh, I've got a very good team around me. Uh, I've managed to secure at least three or four very high uh, key managerial positions uh, from quality managers through to business development to, to support staff for me which enables me to grow the business uh, and rely on those people as I say it's it's exciting times in five years time if we come back probably slightly greyer but hopefully the company should be uh, should still be should still be flying and, and was the transition to Herco the right choice for your company during this period of growth yeah they've been very good uh, support wise for us it's been second to none so yeah we're happy with those guys